Hello and welcome. In this video, we will cover everything that you do need when it comes to OCP report writing. I've seen people fail because they have uh, fucked up their reports. And because of that, they would have to spend $250 right out of their pocket to essentially take an OCP exam retake. And I don't want that for you guys. So in this video, as someone with OCP myself, I will teach you everything that you need to know so that you don't fail the report. Let's go. First of all, the first thing that you should check out is this site right there. They give you a report template and, a, and you should definitely uh, use that. And then I suggest that you basically just read through this right here. The main thing that you should be focused on, in my opinion, I barely prepared for report writing and I did perfectly fine. So the most important thing that you should be thinking about is that when you're actually doing the OCP labs themselves, that you're actually getting all of the proof of everything that you did. Every time you got a user flag, a, uh, a root flag, etc., that you actually show the IP, you show the user you are, and you show the flag that you got, and you always have screenshots. So you need proof of every single uh, machine that you compromise, and it needs to be within a context of an interactive shell. Though you getting the flag to like an LFI, for instance, that will not be valid. So these type of things is important to keep in mind. It's also very important that the, when you do the actual like SAM labs and uh, hopefully you succeed, then that you have all the uh, proof that you need, right? Not only screenshots, but again, once this uh, exam lab time is over, 24 hours, you lose access completely. So if you lack a screenshot, if you lack some output or whatever it is, unfortunately, you can't go back. So it's very, very, very important that you actually collect all of the evidence as you go, because I can understand that it it can be uh, difficult to kind of, or it can be easy to forget about it because you're so concentrated on just uh, beating the exam alone. But it's very important to remember the reporting as well. So that's the first advice, and it's very, very, very important. I've sadly seen cases of people not for, uh, remembering it, and it's a very unfortunate way to fail the OCP. Advice number two, make sure that all of the steps are incredibly reproducible. That's a, that's another guideline essentially that you have to follow. If someone that is semi-tech semi -tech savvy, they will have to be able to reproduce all of the steps that you did to be able to exploit all of the same machines, right? That means that you have to be able to pro properly show what you did and how you did it. Meaning, if there was some source code that you customized, but you didn't show in the report, you can't reproduce that because you need to show everything that you did. If you created some environment variables that you rely on, for instance, like changing the IP address and you just call it like target or whatever, or IP, then you have to as well show that. So it's very, very, very important that you think about this properly when you're making the report. Other than that, the report really is not difficult at all. Use your template. You can essentially simulate the little uh, practice exam before you take the exam for the report writing, just to make sure that you kind of understand it and that you remembered everything that you should remember, etc. But it really comes down to those two main things, I would say. The report template does most of the heavy lifting for you. The most important part you have to do is to make sure that everything is reproducible properly and also making sure that you have all of the evidence before the exam time is over with the labs. And then you will have 24 hours to write the, the report, which is plenty of time to be able to do it. And then you will submit it. And if you follow all my advice and all the advice on their pages, then you will absolutely crush the report in my opinion. If you're on your way to the OCP and you want to be as prepared as possible, then we have a two hour free course here on this YouTube channel that you can check out. People have been absolutely loving it so far, and I really hope you will love it too. We also have the complete course inside of a community, which is, believe it or not, five times as long, roughly. We also have a playlist here on this YouTube channel as well, where we cover a bunch of OCP topics like this one, just to help you guys out as much as possible. And inside the community, where we have the full course, we have a lot of other students taking the OCP at the moment, and you also get personal access to me, meaning you can ask me any question you want, People have been absolutely loving that aspect because some people just want reassurance with a specific tool or maybe a concept they're confused by. Check that out. Best of luck on your OCP journey. I believe in you. Thank you so much for watching.